Alright, uh, Shalom, before I start, we give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakhak Rosh, the one to the elders and apostles of the millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all of the elect Akim, walk, walk, and learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. This is going to be another video to the spirit. Alright, out here, uh, walking the dog, you know, when this thought came to me, you know, uh, in this kingdom, uh, you know, for anyone you ever walked your dog, it's heavily pushed. You know, you better take a bag with you. You better pick up your animal's poop. Otherwise, you can get a fine or the police will, you know, animal control will come take your dog. Which I, I had a situation like that uh, a couple years back. Or shit, more than a couple. You know, some years back when I was still in, a, you know, still a juvenile. You know, cop rolled up on me about it and we was, <laughs> you know, young and stupid. Not in the truth. I could have, you know, could have just picked it up went on about my day. You know, I challenged the officer, and we was about to, you know, he was about to get into a full-blown uh, fisticuffs. But something that I was just thinking about, you know, here it is, Esau Edom, he wants you to pick up the poop behind your animal. When we all know, could be they teach us in school, that poop fertilizes the earth. It'll disintegrate naturally and go back into the ground and provide nourishment for the bugs and for the ground that's there. All right, Esau wants you to pick up your animal's poop, but he doesn't want to pick up his poop. All right, he's a hypocrite. And what I mean by that, Esau doesn't want to clean up the mess that he's created in the earth. He wants you to pick up your dog poop, but he doesn't, he's not going to pick up his nuclear waste. He's not going to pick up his, uh, all of the pollution he's caused, the, uh, uh, the plastic islands that he's created. All right, there's so much trash and filth that he's allowed to get into the waters that it's literally floating, it's fo floating beds of trash. All right, that they call islands now because that's how massive it is. Hey, this man that we're dealing with, he's not right in the head. All right, he's the ultimate uh, hypocrite. All right, and I'm walking, so, you know, I'm just get a couple of scriptures. This is going to be a quick one. I'm going to close it out. It's just an observation I wanted to make, all right, which is one of many more reasons why the Heavenly Father is going to take this man out of the power seat. This dude is unjust. This dude will literally, you could, liter a cop will, you know, roll up on you and be ready to pull a pistol out and kill you over some dog poop. But what about the social uh, injustices? What about uh, the little children getting kidnapped and molested and raped? Pizzagate, all right? What about the uh, form of slavery still going on in certain parts of the world, all right? That this devil, he's just not right. He's not fit to rule, which is why he's going to be taken out of the seat uh, here soon. Let me get this. Kind of right here. Uh, Sirach 13 and... Let me see where I want to start. Yep, okay, Sirach 13 and 3. It says, The rich man hath done wrong, and yet he threateneth withal. So here it is. It's these Edomites. They're the ones destroying the earth, destroying the air, destroying the food. All right, and when I say these things, I'm not joke. I'm being dead serious. The, the quality of the food that we have now is worse. All right, how do you know that? Look at the size of the average human being. All right, the average man is fucking, is, is about five, is... <laughs> Uh, a damn 5'7", all right? And I know that because I'm just at uh, average height. If I was one inch shorter, I'd be considered a midget, all right? Hey, everyone is, uh, uh, everyone has bad eyesight, has to wear glasses and contacts. The Heavenly Father didn't create us like this at the beginning, all right, with all these crutches and deformities and ailments. But why this devil, the one ruling the show, all right, and uh, calling the shots, He's destroyed everything and he gets away with it. All right. You can have a guy just because he's a billionaire. Uh, look at them DuPonts. You know, that one guy, he molested and raped his own two children and he was able to get off scot free. All right. And Jake steals a pack of gum. Nigga, that's 30 in the pen. All right. Let me keep going. It says the poor is wrong and he must entreat also. So the poor man is done wrong and he has to apologize. He has to, uh, 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 I'll say, repent as in, in terms of Esau system he has to be sent to the penitent penitentiary all right he has to do community service all right hey, the damage that uh, the average person does I'll say to the world is in no scale to how Esau Edom does his damage to the world all right the average person will wake up eat sleep you know but these devils they have their corporations their companies you know uh, what's the word uh, fracking you know tearing the earth to pieces sucking the oil out that's why the earth is uh, all discombobulated it doesn't have the blood that it needs the oil all right to keep the uh what do you call it to keep the plates lubricated all right but here it is you know 
we're the bad guys. You know, hey, this devil, he makes a, uh, I'm trying to think of a scripture, basically wickedness that is real big, he makes light of it. And wickedness, or I'll say something that's little, he blows it up, all right, to, to, to make us look bad. Let me see. God right here, Deuteronomy uh, 16 and 19. Come on, come on. It says, uh, it says, thou shalt not rest judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons, neither take a gift for a gift of blind the eyes of the wise and pervert the words of the righteous. So you're not supposed to rest judgment, meaning let's say two people commit a crime. One man is a billionaire. All right, Jeff Bezos. All right, the other dude is me. <laughs> if me and him both take a candy bar out the store, resting judgment would be to give him no time at all for, you know, he just has to go give a speech saying how thievery is, is wrong and me uh that's third strike rule so now i'm doing 25 to life that's how this man rests judgment meaning he pulls it down he doesn't uh it, you know short for wrestle he he doesn't use it properly he tears it to pieces he accepts gifts all right which is why hey the average person uh in their spirit they know this whole place is wrong which is why now at the end day that's why so many people are rebelling up against the government because they're tired of this all right, and if you're not tired of this, then there's something wrong with you. You know, so this is just a real quick video. I just wanted to, you know, that came to mind. I'm out here, you know, upside like down. You know, hey, I don't, I don't, hey, look, I don't like picking up uh, my animal poop, and that's just me. And that's just, and I've always knew that. I'm like, why am I, you know, as long as it's in the grass. Now, if it's on the concrete, you know, you don't want nobody, you know, stepping on that. You don't want to step on no shit, so, you know, you'll pick it up move it you know but if it's in the grass it'll disintegrate it'll help the earth but every day Esau let me see real quick this man is adverse to the heavenly father everything that's supposed to be good is is uh completely backwards here let me see kind of right here Daniel uh 7 and 25 it says uh dealing with Esau Edom all right the fourth beast that was gonna rise up, which we know is um, Rome, all right, uh, reincarnated uh, today as America, all right, uh, Babylon the whore, all right, uh, 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 Babylon the Great, this final kingdom, all right, Daniel 7, and we go back 25, it says, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and a times and a dividing of time. So this devil has been given the power. He changes that in which is natural. He changes the times, the seasons, the dates, what's healthy, what isn't healthy, what you're supposed to be doing, what you're not supposed to be doing. You know, hey, and this is just one little, one little thing. You know, it might seem small, but it has a, a big effect on the world because all this, all this poop that could have disintegrated into the grass, you're now bagging up in plastic. Plas plastic, you know, that shit has a half life, meaning it takes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It takes. Come on, Judas, come on. The amount of time it takes for that plastic to disintegrate, you know, they be, you know, Esau, hundreds, thousands of years. You know, so why why have us bag it up and now put it in a situation to where it's causing more pollution than to just let the shit disintegrate like how the Heavenly Father created it uh, at the beginning of time, all right? If the Heavenly Father didn't want animals taking a number two, they wouldn't do it, all right? But obviously it's okay and it's better than your solution, E. All right, so, you know, that's about it. Just wanted to touch on it you know some i seen i'm like damn man you know hey so with that i'm gonna give all praises to you how shy you how shy but hashem rakakarash to the elders and apostles of great muslim uh peace blessings and salutations to all the left akim walk walk them learning and teaching and truth and sincerity and say shalom